Soul Soul, we now Fred but Sim Samuel as we left off, Samuel gained that promotion he's been working so hard for. But if he wants to get another promotion, he's gonna need to work even harder on maintaining the uh, friendship he has, getting the friendship he lost back, and getting another family friend, as well as gaining a few skill points in creativity. It may be one bridge too far for Samuel, but for Dave over here, he has everything all sorted out. He just needs to uh, go to work in a good mood to gain a promotion of his own, albeit he also needs to make sure this friendship here with his brother doesn't deteriorate below 50, otherwise he'll lose that family friend. But I don't think he'll lose it in time for the next day of work. It is half past seven in the evening, and Dave has decided to get an early night, which is uncharacteristic of him because he tends to go to bed at any time he chooses. He needs to make sure that everything is sorted out for when he goes to work. And I think it's now time at three o'clock for him to get up and face the day. Clean up that urine, Dave, and then go and get some breakfast. I think you only need to have breakfast rather than serve it, because I don't really think you have time to serve breakfast and have multiple portions, even though that would fill up your hunger bar pretty much to nearly maximum. All right. Time for you to, are you gonna go all the way round? I think you're going to go all the way round. That is a really odd thing to do, but I suppose it may be the fastest route from there. Who can say, eh? Hello, dog, how are you? Are you barking randomly at everything? You're barking randomly at everything. It is time for you to raid the fridge, Dave, and find something good to eat, and hopefully not burn everything down. It would be a really poor start to the day if you burnt down everything that you had, and your house was reduced to a pile of smoking ash. But fortunately, there is no fire today. There is one plate of food that I can imagine doesn't look very appetizing whatsoever. There is also the minor problem in that we're going to be using a shower that is currently broken. But at least it still works, even though it should in theory be uh, spilling loads of water absolutely everywhere. I think it's time to flush the toilet and use the toilet, then take a shower, and then watch some cartoons. We're going to be filling up the uh, bowl in a little bit. Uh, dog's hunger is quite good. We don't need to worry about that right now. All right, time to use the toilet and get rid of that bladder and hygiene need and put them up to maximum. And Dog is in the way of having a shower, which is no good whatsoever. It actually makes Dave cancel the thing he was going to do. So we need to uh, reassign taking a shower and then use the uh, television that will provide all the entertainment and comfort that he needs to go to work. And yes, indeed, more water should be spilling everywhere, but since the room is so small, it's not actually going to spill anywhere. We're definitely going to need to fix that later, though. We don't have very long to improve the uh, fun and comfort, but they are indeed going up quite a lot, and the carpool for Dave will arrive in about one hour. I think it's time to uh, play with Dog for a little bit here, to improve our social that little bit, just enough to make sure our mood is absolutely as high as it can possibly be. There we go. Hello, Dog. We're going to go to work and gain a promotion. But at least I hope we're going to uh, gain a promotion. We also need to fill the bowl, and do we want to get rid of those cockroaches? We might want to get rid of them. Also, room in here is absolutely amazing. There we go. There is a phone call that we probably want to answer. You never know what the phone call might be. Off you go, Dave! Answer that phone that's on the window. What is going on on the phone today? Anything good? Hopefully lots of money? Money will be good. Nope, the flashing light was just a test. You'll have plenty of warning next time. I have no idea what that's in reference to whatsoever. The cockroaches are currently outside as well as in, which is really bad because that's going to affect the uh, room stat outside. Hopefully not enough that we're going to... Uh, Ooh, that did indeed affect it quite a bit. That reduced our mood down probably from a 4 to a 3. Then again, our hunger may have had an... Im Ooh, now it's gone down to a 2. That is really bad indeed, probably because these got delivered just before we went to work. The timing is indeed very bad, but if we're lucky, yes indeed, we got promoted to Stunt Double. Hurrah! That's not the box office megastar being set on fire and tossed it from the helicopter. That's you. You're making a name for yourself, though, and directors like your novel ideas for mock mayhem. Keep those creative juices flowing. You might just graduate to a low-budget starring role of your own. 
if you survive. Keep yourself and your gear in top shape, or you may miss that airbag. And keep developing your active social life. Not only is it fun, it's very useful. He now earns 275 simoleons and gained a bonus of 550, which is brilliant. Unfortunately, he needs four family friends to get the next promotion, and I do think, even though Dave is uh, a very social person, I think that is just one bridge too far for Dave to uh, surmount at the moment. He definitely can't do that alone. Hello, dog! We got promoted, which is brilliant! That means we can finally buy some new things to make everything better. Like, for instance, we could buy a bookshelf, which means that we could actually learn how to cook. And just in time for our promotion is a massive pile of bills, which is, uh, not great, but we're going to deal with them. Alright, we're just gonna get rid of everything here, and then we're gonna have to sort out the cockroaches, and then we're gonna have to pay the bills, and then we're gonna have to uh, fix the shower, and my oh my is there are a lot of things that we need to do. We also need to water all of the plants. We have just a lot of things to get done, and it's only nearly four o'clock in the afternoon, and his energy is not doing very well whatsoever. But the first thing we do want to do is I do think we want to go and buy that bookshelf. And where would we even put that bookshelf? That is a good question. What about if we put the phone over here instead? I know we're moving it away from a window, but we really need to have a bookshelf somewhere. What if we put the bookshelf over here? We don't even need to make it a very... We could put the bookshelf there, actually. That's a better place to put it. We need to keep the phone exactly where it is. And one bookshelf there will ensure that we can at least learn some cooking skill at some point. We really do need to have Dave learn how to not burn everything down. And even though there is no tree there, he'll still walk all the way over there to get rid of something here. The bin is over here, Dave, not over there. But a promotion is good because that pretty much means that we don't need to worry about him running out of any money anytime soon. We are going to have to pay those bills though, and those bills are going to be a problem. At least we don't need to focus on gaining lots of family friends, we can maintain this uh, friendship and we'll keep talking to a vet, most certainly. But we're not going to be uh, trying our best to get loads of other ones right now. We can't do that anyway, because uh, Dave is only one person, and only one person can do one thing at any time. Also, 250 simoleons, not bad whatsoever. We're going to have to deal with all of these uh, cockroaches afterwards. There we go. You just go pay all those bills. We actually have more money, I think, than we've ever really had as uh, spare money for Dave ever which is quite an achievement and also quite a bit sad considering how much money that is. I mean, with that amount of money, uh, Samuel really could gain that as uh, a bonus if he got promoted again, huh? which is uh, a bit telling as to uh, Dave's financial situation and also to how uh, comfortable uh, Samuel's financial situation is. But hey, we're spraying cockroaches right now. What fun Dave is having. <laughs> Dave is having no fun whatsoever. Now we need to go and get rid of the other group of cockroaches that are sort of... Oh, there's some there and there's some there. Wow, there are just cockroaches absolutely everywhere. This is the downside to uh, not being a very cleanly person. All this time is being wasted when he could be doing something productive with it. Or something that's actually fun. Dave doesn't have much fun right now, but I'm sure he'll be able to deal with everything here, as well as a massive puddle over there. Maybe he should actually hire a maid. The problem with hiring a maid is that it costs quite a bit of money, and I'm not sure Dave has the money to uh, do that. We could try it out, it's not going to hurt, I suppose. You know what, actually, let's give it a go. Let's have him call a service. We'll have him call a maid. I think maids are 10 simoleons an hour. And she'll have quite a bit that she needs to do. I don't know if they go and repair showers, though. We're probably going to have to go and repair the shower. And something bad has happened, apparently. I've no idea what it is, but something bad has happened. Dave, call on the services of a maid. You most certainly need one to get your house in order. There we go. And then one amount of responsibility will be gone forever. Would you like to hire a daily maid service for 10 simoleons an hour? I don't know. Yes, please, we would. Excellent. And that has been sorted. Thank you, Dave. Someone will come over first thing in the morning. Excellent. The first thing we want to do before we go to bed is we need to repair the shower. I actually think we'll leave those uh, puddles of urine there because the maid will be taking care of all of them. 
There we go. You just need to work solidly through the night to fix all of the problems with the shower. It's a really bad shower. It's broken so many times since you've started using it. Maybe you're just like tugging on things too hard or clogging up the drain. Who can say, eh, Dave? One thing's for sure is we might not actually get this done before you have to go to bed. Work, I think, starts at uh, 9 o'clock till 4. That is not a bad work day. It's a lot shorter than uh, Samuel's work day, that's for sure. You are earning significantly less money than he is, however. If you put it into perspective, uh, Samuel was earning only 35 less for his job, and then he got promoted to quite significantly higher pay. Ooh, looks like Dave might nearly be done with fixing the shower. Maybe a few points of mechanical might be good for you. I think the shower is finally fixed and ready to go. There we go. One more thing you need to do, and that is to uh, water the plants, because the maid won't water the plants. The maid will uh, only clean things up. If you want to water the plants, you need to hire a gardener. And unfortunately, I had him uh, start there rather than over here, which would have been a better place to start. I think we're going to have to get him to water them individually, because he is very, yep, he is very, very tired indeed. There we go. Yep, and he's also very uncomfortable as well. Things are not going very well for Dave, but things are slowly on the up. Eventually, he'll be able to sort everything out. Also, his energy is almost gone. Almost completely gone. Just a little more work, Dave, and then you'll be able to go to bed. There we go! Quickly, rush to bed before you collapse on the floor. I thought Dave would be the first person to collapse on the floor, but no, it was, uh, it was actually Samuel, which I was a little surprised at. Also, all of his uh, stats there are struggling. We're going to have to get him to get up right now because, wow, his mood is dreadful. Time for you to have breakfast very quickly. And I think Dog is in the way. Dog is indeed in the way. Why don't you go over there, Dave, and then work your way around. Also, uh, going over there, I want you to actually go here, but never mind. We'll just have you have breakfast now. There we go. Dog is now out of the way and is cleaning himself, which is very good. Uh, we definitely need some time to have some social interaction very soon. And we're definitely going to have to have Dave uh, talk to Yvette at some point and Samuel to make sure that friendship doesn't suffer anymore. There we go. You just have a very quick breakfast here and try your best not to burn everything down. The problem with Dave right now is that he just doesn't have enough time to start gaining the skills that he needs to do anything. We really want him to gain some points in cooking before the inevitable happens. The inevitable hasn't happened yet, but I imagine eventually it will. There we go. Eat well, Dave. And you really need to uh, use the toilet and take a shower and uh, try and have some fun. Having fun is very important for you, as uh, fun will make sure that you don't go into work in a bad enough mood that you might get demoted. That can happen if you're not careful. There we go. Now his mood is at least passable, and he only has a very short period of time before he heads to work. His comfort and fun are very critically low. He's got a little bit of time, though. A little bit of time. Not very much, but a little bit of time. Also, we need to fill that bowl and make... Actually, no, we don't. A dog should be fine. And that is some really bad timing for that uh, puddle of urine there. But I'm sure if we ignore the call for work, for just... Ooh, the car's got better, at least. Now it's a small truck-like thing. There we go. Excellent. It's very nice, actually. We need a little bit more time before we go to work. There we go. I think that is perfect. We're not going to be running to work. The uh, maid should be round pretty soon, which is very good, and the maid will deal with everything that's uh, around. Where is the maid? There is the maid! Hello, Bridget. You're going to be cleaning up absolutely everything. Also, don't change the channel, because if you change the channel, Dave may never be able to change it back. Alright, what's the first port of call that she's going to do? Hmm. Let's find out, shall we? The first thing she's going to do is she's going to clean those puddles of urine that are very difficult to uh, get access to by us because of uh, the carpet that's in the way. There you go. And the second one is going to be dealt with, which is brilliant. And then you're going to probably go and clean the uh, toilet, I imagine. That's the next thing you'll do. Or you're going to, you're just going to clean the shower anyway. You know the shower doesn't need cleaning, right? You're just making lots of work, aren't you? The phone is going to go, and we're not here, so we don't need to uh, worry about answering that. We can't answer it, because we're not here. And now that's been cleaned, and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to uh, wash your hands. We really need to get a sink in here at some point. 
I think the next thing you're going to do is uh, clean the... Um, oh, there's probably a puddle of urine there you need to deal with. And then making the bed. Is that everything you need to do? I'm not sure yet. Apparently you found something else you need to do. Probably a puddle somewhere over here. Who knows, we are heading in that direction. Unless you're just, ah, there's the puddle over there you need to take care of as well. The problem is, is that Bridget's going to be turning up a little bit after we go to work. Anything else for you to do? You're apparently falling asleep, and 20 simoleons for peace of mind is a very good deal indeed. There we go. Everything is now absolutely spotless. Well, apart from the uh, bowl of food there, but I'm sure we'll be uh, dealing with that later. There we go, it's nearly time for us to get back from work, a couple more hours, and then we'll have those 275 simoleons that will pay for pretty much anything that we need. Which is brilliant. Ouch! You just missed the airbag filming a scene where you jump from a burning building. Uh-oh. The injuries cost you two body points, which is really bad because we were working on- Oop, the phone's going, quick answer that! Ignore that, we really need to uh, go and get that phone call. It could be anything, it could be a massive pile of money. We'll be talking to you- uh-oh. I think that's a warning that things are going bad with Samuel here. We need to make sure we talk to him. We also need to turn off that television as the uh, first port of call. There we go. We could actually invite Samuel over and say hello. That might be a good idea. Let's go and call our neighbour. He's probably- ooh, Bob is around. You know what? We could go and greet Bob. Greeting Bob is probably not a bad thing to do. I don't think we know Bob. We don't know Bob. We know very few people, actually. Hello, Bob. How are you? We'll have a quick conversation with you, why don't we? Excellent. We're going to have to go and talk to a Dog as well, but uh, having a few, uh, having a little bit of a chat with um, with Bob is probably a good idea. It gets us the uh, groundwork for a new fa Also, he does not like computers whatsoever. I suppose we can talk to him a little bit more. Um, they I... do like that though, but I don't think he really wants to uh don't think he really wants to talk that much. And Spork is apparently trying to uh yeah. beg with us. But hey, we had a tiny conversation with uh Bob, and that is all that matters really. I think talking to uh let's call over Dog, shall we? Hello Dog! Why don't you come over here? We shall socialize! Uh... That actually gives a plus to relationship when you call over your pet, and uh, we're over here by the way, dog, we're not over there. We need to socialise a little bit, we need to uh, pet quite a few times here to make sure that our social remains in tip-top condition. There we go. This uh, friendship may deteriorate beyond the point where it's uh, no longer considered a friendship, but uh, I'm sure they can work on it and make it better. We also need to make sure that um, Dave talks to Yvette a few times, because we really don't want that relationship to suffer. That relationship is certainly going places. There we go. We didn't get any time at all today to uh, improve our uh, cooking, but we will get time eventually. After all, we are finally starting to earn enough money that we're not going to worry about uh, anything concerning uh, going broke or going bankrupt. I think maybe uh, two more of this and our social will be pretty high. In fact, it will nearly be at maximum. There we go. It's really easy for him to actually improve social, and dog social is also rocketing up, which is excellent. We really do need to be talking to people that are actually our friends right now, but I think we can do that eventually. Also, wow, the sheer lack of energy that we have, I think it's time for us to go to bed. There we go. Go to bed in a freshly made bed. Made ready for us by the maid. There we go. It is a long, long day that you've had, and it'll be a long day tomorrow as well. And I've no idea why you're going that way round to uh, go to your bed. Maybe you'll have the day off tomorrow, Dave. I think you might need the day off just to get your house in order. And losing those body points was really not good, because now you've gone down from two all the way down to zero. We either really need to get you off this job, or we need to just uh, have you uh, be very lucky every day. There we go. The maid, I'm sure, will deal with that later. Rest well, Dave, for tomorrow is a new day. A new day where you need to go and do new things. There we go. That uh, relationship has nearly deteriorated into nothing, so we're just going to have to uh, have breakfast right now, and then use this and take a shower. The same things that we usually do. There we go. 
And one meal has been successfully made. Actually, we should fill the bowl before we use the toilet and have a shower. There we go. Much better, because Dog is up bright and early, just in time to eat some food. The timing there is impeccable, while he chases his own tail like a silly dog that he is. We definitely need to improve our um, cooking at some point. Actually, now would be a pretty good time to do so. Now would be a brilliant time to do so. There we go. Go watch television for a bit. We have a few hours where we might be able to improve that, um... There we go. We'll just, uh, not... Don't have a quick breakfast. I want you to study some cooking, Dave. You might not get very far in doing so. You might only gain, like, one point, or even half a point. But even half a point is better than gaining no point whatsoever. Every little bit helps when it comes to gaining some cooking skill. And you may be late to the game in doing that, but it's better than not doing it at all. Okay, I think we're going to get about halfway there, but that's better than getting nowhere at all. We're definitely going to have to work on that friend. Actually, weren't we not going to work today? We weren't going to work today. Work can wait. Dave has important things he needs to do, like learning how not to burn the house down. There we go, we've been very lucky up till now, but now with just a few hours of work... Hello there, how are you, maid? You're, there's really not much for you to do right now. You could uh, clean the shower and uh, clean the bath, but... Uh, bath? There is no bath even here! What am I talking about? Dave is imagining appliances that he doesn't have. I think it's time for you to have lunch now. But that lunch will be next time. But when we come back, folks, Dave is slowly working on making himself that little bit better, starting with making sure, once and for all, that he never burns the house down, even though he never did. If he had burnt the house down, that could have been the end of Dave, but the end there never happened. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Dag, dag.